Hello everyone. As we know, Nintendo's been stalling for a very long time for a new Mario Kart. 8 Deluxe got a port, which is selling very well, which is probably why they're not putting out a new game. Then they put out a mobile game, Mario Kart Tour, and now we have Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, which is basically just this toy, and it's and they're all cool, but it's about time we get a new game, and I've taken some inspiration from a Mario Party. So, if you've ever heard of Mario Party The Top 100, you'll know that it's comprised of 100 minigames. But from what I hear, it's kind of a disappointment, since, first of all, it's on a 3DS, and it's kind of an inferior system to, like, say, the Wii U with the Nintendo Switch. Plus, there was, like, only one map, and the minigames themselves that they chose weren't actually some of the best. So, anyways, um, what I'm doing is... Uh, um, I came up with an idea called Mario Kart The Top 50, and it's the 30th anniversary. It'll kind of be like a Mario Kart Ultimate. I don't want to say no Bandy made a video like that, but yeah. So basically, what this is going to be is Nintendo's going to allow people to vote through uh, Twitter and YouTube of what their favorite tracks are from each game. And I've compiled a list using tier lists online about the games, and I think I got a really good ros uh, track roster. But before we get into tracks, I'll save that part for last. So first of all, the characters and vehicles. I think it would be great to have every character and vehicle ever, although some characters could be skins, like Tanuki Mario and Pink Gold Peach could be part of their own characters. And I think like things like the Kooplings and the Kongs could all be together in their own roster. It would just have more space, and that would be really great. Kind of like Smash. The next thing is double cart mode. Now, Mario Kart Double Dash, they had things like double items, which of course was brought back in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but they also had double cart mode, and that allowed you to choose two characters. And with those two characters, you could get special items. And I think that would be a great way to bring that back. Although, um, a lot of the special items, they'd really have to think harder for that, since the, the roster right now is about 40 characters on average. So, yeah. Next is Mission Mode. Mission Mode is a really great thing to have in Mario Kart, Mario Kart DS, but I think we shouldn't just bring back um, new missions. I think there should also be a story to it. Maybe someone's taking over the Mushroom Kingdom, or... Oh, I don't know. Like, all the carts have been stolen, or... You know, something cool like that. It doesn't need to have that much of a story. This is just Mario Kart, but it would be great nonetheless. Next, I'd really, I, um, sorry. Next, I'd really like to have different types of, to um, um, console tours. Down here, I've shown, like, what, um, all the symbols would look like for the console tours. We've got the, the SNES tour, the N64 tour, the GBA tour, the GCN tour, the DS tour, the Wii tour, the 3DS tour, and the Wii U tour. Or the Switch tour, depending on which one they choose. And these are basically going to be the, um, the, tra uh, um, the selection of tracks that came from each of the eight main Mario Karts. Um, I think this would be a great way for people to be able to choose them easier, and I think you should also be able to randomize the specific tracks and tours. As for battle mode, I think we should include the, um, the ten overall best stages, so things like uh, Funky Stadium, or Walk for or maybe some new stages like Honey Beehive, or Dragon Palace, you know, things like that. Just the best ones. Oh, I can't forget Pipe Plaza. So yeah, just use the best ones. Also, I think we should have every battle mode back from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, all five of them. However, I think the balloon battle should be changed for, like, local play. So, like, there's no timer, and instead, when you run out of balloons, that's it, you're done. That's how it was in Mario Kart DS. Um, and from Wii onwards, they changed that, I didn't really like that. So, I also think there should be a new one. So, we all hate the Thundercloud, right? The item from Mario Kart Wii that would shrink you over time? Well, what if we changed it so it was a battle mode? And it would basically be a game of hot potato, where you'd have to pass it on to another player, and whoever got it lost... And of course, you'd be able to adjust the timer and things like that. I think it would be a really great idea, and it would make proper use of the item. And I'd also really like for the versus mode to be more customizable. 
I'm still really surprised we haven't been able to choose um, the amount of laps we've had or what specific items we've, we like, but those are things that I really like. Kind of like Smash Bros. We should have more customization. And finally, we, uh, and I'd also like to see different types of unlockables, maybe. Like, maybe, like, the coins you get would be able to, like, use, like, in-game shops to buy things, like, different vehicles or, or to unlock different characters. That'd be a good idea. And I also think that coins could be used. So, in the, uh, so, like, if you get a coin, I'd... If you keep getting a bunch of coins in a race, you can press a certain button to um, spend some, some of your coins on the item roulette to get a better item. That was a great idea. It's not mine, but it came from the thing new bandy, but yeah, that'd be awesome. As for items, I can't really think of too many, but I'd, I'd like a double cherry item, which basically gives you like an extra hit to take from items, and a bomb shell, which basically acts as a green shell and explodes. And finally, we had the tracks and subs. Now, since this is the 30th anniversary, what better way to celebrate than by Ma Mario Kart's top 50 tracks? I'll be going through for each game and why I think that they would be great. Mario Circuit 2 would be pretty great. Because I kind of like the jump and how they implemented it in Mario Kart 7. As for Koopa Beach 2, Choco Island 2, and Dono Point 3, those are overall just some of the best of those games. Since they're, they're probably the best versions of each of those three different types of tracks. And they're um, and when they were brought back, they didn't see too many improvements, but they were still good. And as for Rainbow Road SNES, it's a classic, so of course it should come back. As for Mario Kart 64, we have Koopa Troopa Beach. Which I think it would be a pretty great beach track. I didn't code too many here. Royal Raceway, it was pretty great in Mario Kart 8. Because it's the glider, Bowser's Castle N64. It's one of the better Bowser's Castles. And when it was brought back in Wii, it was pretty great. DK's Jungle Parkway and Yoshi Valley are both pretty great, and I see it as more challenging tracks. In Rainbow Road N64, the original version was really kind of bad because of how long it is, but they definitely improved it in Mario Kart 8 visually and, you know, the fact that it was shorter. As for Mario Kart Super Circuit, Cheeseland and Ribbon Road have seen great improvements in Mario Kart 8, so they should stay. Since the Wild is a beautiful track, I'd like to see that one return. And Sky Garden is pretty good, too. It kind of reminds me of Gusty Garden Galaxy. Bowser Castle 3 is, one of, is probably the best flat Bowser's Castle track, too. For Mario Kart Double Dash, we have Baby Park, since it's pretty much a Mario Kart icon. It should be in here. Mushroom Bridge, because, you know, you can drive on the bridge. That's really cool. Daisy Cruiser and Dino Dino Jungle have always been tracks in Mario Kart that like, have always been memorable to me. Just driving across this, um, the cruiser ship and through a dinosaur-filled jungle. Those are kind of the ideas that inspire later games to get really creative. As for Waluigi Stadium, that's also a pretty great track, too. I always like the stadium ones. <coughs> Sorry. Then we have Rainbow Road GCN. I tried to include a Rainbow Road or Bowser's Castle from each of these games, and this is seen as one of the better Rainbow Roads. For Mario Kart DS, we have Luigi's Mansion, because it's also pretty memorable. Delfina Square, because it's, it's a great Mario Sunshine reference. Waluigi Pinball, because, I mean, it's Waluigi Pinball. Personally, I think the track end is kind of boring around the middle, but it definitely is a great theme, and I think it could be even better with anti-gravity, and or, obviously a lot of people like it already. TikTok Clock and Airship Fortress are also beloved tracks. Beach Gardens is pretty underrated. I'd like to see that one return. And Rainbow Road DS is similar to the GCN version, and I kind of like it. For Mario Kart Wii, um, Mushroom Gorge, Coconut Mall, Ko Ko Koopa Cape, and Maple Treeway all returned in Mario Kart 7. People wanted them to return in Mario Kart 8 because they saw my potential there. So obviously, it's safe to say those tracks get a lot of love. As for DK Summit, I found this a pretty underrated choice. I probably liked it a lot, the Donkey Kong courses. And uh, it was kind of hard to choose because Wii has a lot of great Nitro tracks, so I just went with that. And as for uh, Mario Kart Wii, is some of the best Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road, so of course I had to go with those. For Mario Kart 7, I chose um, the four 
For some of them, I chose the four tracks that return to Mario Kart 8 Music Park, Piranha Plant Slide, Neo Bowser City, and TK Chango. It's queer people love those a lot. Maybe not as much as those Wii tracks, but they're still definitely really great. And we have Rock Rock Mountain. It was pretty great in tour, and the gliding makes the track stand out. Maka Woohoo is also uh, the Woohoo Island track, and I thought that was also pretty memorable, just like um, the other tracks that have two versions, like Mushroom Bridge and Mushroom City. But I chose Maka Woohoo over the first one, since it's more memorable with the sunset and all. And we have Rainbow Road 3DS, a track that um, people really love and consider to be the best Rainbow Road. Finally, we have Mario Kart 8. First, I chose Sunshine Airport because it's all um, it's also a Mario Sunshine reference, and I really like that. It's also a really beloved track. Electro Drum is really creative as well. I really like that one too. Mount Wario is also um, considered one of the best, um, uh, usually one of, if not the best, from Mario Kart Eight. Cloud Top Cruise, people really love that one. Uh, Bowser's Castle, we, it's definitely one of the best Bowser's Castles. I like Super Bowser Subway a lot, and Big Blue is an F-Zero reference. So overall, that's my idea for Mario Kart at Top 50 for the 30th anniversary. And that's it. See ya.